Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So let's just get into this video. I am a Scorpio sun. I have five planets. Five planets I have uh, in Scorpio and asteroids. Five planets and asteroids in Scorpio in my fifth house. Okay. I am a Cancer rising with a Taurus moon. That's just to give you some information because the thing about it is you gotta know who you're getting your information from because their viewpoint and perspective comes from a filtered way, right? It comes from the way that they're living. So now let me tell you why people hate Scorpios. <laughs> Scorpios are ruled by Mars. They are ruled by Mars and co-ruler of with Pluto. Mars is the planet of energy, drive, ambition, um, just the shit that gets you out of bed, the fire that gets you out of bed, okay? And Pluto is the planet of destruction. Destruction, okay? And reconstruction. Breaking shit down and building it back up. Okay? So let's just keep all that in perspective. Plus, Scorpio rules the eighth house. The eighth house has to do with sex, death, rebirth okay it has to do with intimacy it has to do with other people's finances it has to do with bondage bonding things together okay so this is this is where it's coming from and it's a fixed water sign as well so fixed water it could be ice you know it could be hail it could it could be so many different things scorpio is the one of the only I guess I'm gonna call it an animal that you literally can freeze and thaw it out and it will still continue walking after you've frozen and thawed it out, okay? Now, think of Scorpio as, when I think of Scorpio in the signs, I think of Scorpio as the tunnel. A dark, dark, scary, dirty ass tunnel. And who really fucking wants to go in the tunnel, okay? Scorpios trigger trauma. That is what we do because it is the eighth house. After you've gone through one through six and you have developed yourself, your own personal being, you're starting to migrate and in integrate with the collective, okay? Libra comes right before us. They try to balance shit out and make it all smooth and things like that. But a Scorpio is going to bond those things together through intimacy. Scorpio also rules the sacral chakra, okay? Scorpio is literally creation at its purest form. That's why a Scorpio can catch your ass through sex and intimacy, okay? That's why when you have sex with a Scorpio, you feel like your soul is getting snatched away from you. A lot of people don't like that feeling. But that is really what this living thing is about. It's fully immersing yourself and letting go of things. So the reasons why people hate Scorpios is because if you're in a dark tunnel, which by the way, everybody wants to go in the dark tunnel. Everybody wants to at least peek in the tunnel, right? As a kid, you still want to put your hand on the stove even though you knew it was hot. Or you didn't, you didn't know the concept of hot, but you just knew it was dangerous. People like that. So that's why people are obsessed with Scorpios because there's an element of danger because you're going into an abyss, into a dark space. And when you're going into a dark space and you're not willing to illuminate your traumas, you're gonna be triggered as fuck. When you meet a Scorpio, you are going through a tunnel, especially if you're having a soulmate relationship with them. And a soulmate relationship can come in many forms. I'm gonna do another video on that. But literally, you are, you are bonding yourself energetically with this person who can from the jump understand there is so much more going on beneath the surface than you even care to admit and that is what makes people so uncomfortable and that is why people can't stand fucking Scorpios okay nobody wants their shit brought up to the surface Nobody wants to see all their buried traumas in front of their face except the Scorpio. Because we, we understand that you need to address the traumas and we need to address the traumas, okay? So that we can heal from it and continue on the path of enlightenment to where our spirit needs to be. Thank you for loving us Scorpios. I love Scorpios too. I love us. Because we are very passionate. 
we're very deep we're very to you need to be able to deal with the darkness so that you can understand what light is and that's why people get so triggered and we live in a world where it's about topical conversations where it's about hi how are you today and you don't really want to hear the answer of how the person's doing you're just asking the question to ask it okay we're living in a world of instant gratification we're living in a world of oh take this pill because this will heal you and when you're fucking with a scorpio you cannot use any of those things okay you can't you have to use this thing called a mirror and you have to look at yourself and you have to look at your surroundings okay and you have to see what's going on and address what's going on so if we're living in a world where people are literally and I, I'm an enthusiast of makeup, hair, and all these other things, but we are living in a world of covering ourselves up, if you really think about it. Even when we get dressed to go out, and yes, it's an expression of fashion, but we were born naked. You know what I'm saying? We were born without clothes. So when you get in bed with a Scorpio, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, you better be ready to take your clothes off. Like, you better be ready. You just better be ready to lay it all out. And that's how a Scorpio functions. There's nothing you could say, do. If you're a Scorpio, you cannot fight this. You can't fight this is how that you are with people. And I need my Scorpios to realize that we are tunnels and we're healers and shamans. And that is our biggest role in life. And sometimes people stay with us for a long time and sometimes people stay with us for a very short time. And they need, they get what they need out of us. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? So people hate Scorpios because we make you guys address your fuck shit. We make you address the bullshit. We make you address the traumas that you now identify as your personal characteristics and your personality traits. And you want to hold on to that trauma so wholeheartedly because without it, oh my God, who would you be? And it's just like, bruh, exactly. Who would you be when you heal yourself and you let all of that shit go? Who would you be? You would be a much better version of yourself. And that's all Scorpios be trying to get y'all to do is level the fuck up, okay? And now I'm talking about a Scorpio who knows how to heal themselves and who's a master healer. We're not talking about the underdeveloped size because that an underdeveloped Scorpio is very dangerous because they don't know how to address their own traumas. They don't know how to address their own healing. So they're definitely gonna, not going to know how to address yours and deal with yours at all, okay? So... That's some of the reasons why people fucking hate us. Like, we're not gonna let you sit around and try to dump your emotional baggage onto me and then leave it with me. Cause that's the other thing with water signs, we absorb the shit, right? We're not fire, fire burns things away. We absorb things. So if we absorb people, places and things, emotions, feelings and all this other stuff, you have to be able to clean that shit up. And as Scorpios, we trigger that emotional need for healing, especially now when everybody is in obvious, obvious spiritual pain on this earth. We attract all those kind of people. And we attract them through our family. We attract them through our love relationships. We attract them through our financial situations. We attract it in so many various different ways, okay? Um, so if you meet a Scorpio and you're triggered, it's because you have a lesson to learn. There's something that you're not addressing in your own life that now you're meeting a Scorpio and you have to address what the fuck is going on within you, okay? And that is literally, you, you cannot have a full and um, beautiful gorgeous life full of success love and happiness if you're not willing to address address the drama traumas that you come from or that you have been put onto you if you believe in a past life you don't have to believe in a past life but the shit that you've gathered throughout your life is traumatic even when you're born guys think about it even when you're born just simply when you're born it's trauma from the dump okay you're first of all you're not a woman should not be laying on their back when they should be birthing they should be squatting when they're birthing. Also, there should be not, no fluorescent lighting. 
there shouldn't be all of these fucking vibrations coming from the hospital and all these other things so we're already born into trauma right and then our parents who are making us and baking us and all their trauma gets transferred into us as well like it's a dna it's an energetic come on come on come on is it back i hope it's back um yes i'm back so please stop making it seem like scorpios are jealous and possessive and we put in so much time and attention to detail and we really put our entire emotional and spiritual juice into your cup and y'all don't realize it you guys take it for granted you know what i'm saying that's that's the problem and then, then that's when you piss off a scorpio and then that's when our loyalty will be done and then that's when we get vindictive and all these other things and want to control the situation because now we've been hurt and we're insecure about our own shit because we feel like we're being taken for granted so that's another thing a Scorpio needs to know. I need to do a whole advice just for Scorpios to be like, bro, don't take this shit. Don't take it personally. But if you have a Scorpio friend or you have somebody in your life that is a Scorpio and who is important to you, okay? Stop making it seem like it's a one-way street. A conversation has to happen. A dialogue has to happen with at least two people in it. So take up your shit. Take advantage of the Scorpio friend in a good way by being emotionally intelligent, okay? By being emotionally thorough and understanding your place in this entire this in, in this entire experience, okay? You're not doing this alone. They're not doing it alone. And don't make it seem like, oh, the Scorpio is here just to fuck up my life. No, your life is already fucked up. That a Scorpio is here to make you address it. That's the difference. Okay? We're just triggering as fuck. We are just triggering as fuck. And and I know it gets difficult to deal with, but this is your life. Okay? You're only triggered because this is your fucking life and you set it up this way, and I'm just here to to address it for you. Okay? Like that's really what's going on. So I need y'all to start rethinking and it's called personal development. It's called personal responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Scorpios are really good at having personal responsibility and having ownership and knowing what, what they did and when they did it, you know, whether it be sooner than uh, later than sooner sometimes for the underdeveloped Scorpio, but we're able to see our mistakes straight up and wanting to fix them. Because the thing is, we don't want to live in eternal pain. Some of you are fucking masochists. And you guys love love living in eternal pain because that has become your identity now. And if you're not in pain, who, who can you complain to and who can you relate to? Well, you can start relating to some healthy people who have healed themselves and who want you to have better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it seem like I want worse for your life. I don't want worse for your life at all. I want you to be better, but I also know you being in my life affects how my life goes as well. So if you're not emotionally capable of addressing your own fucking issues, then how are we going to get anywhere? You know? So anyway, that's just like a little bit of, um, <laughs> of why people hate Scorpios because, you know, y'all don't want to address your own bullshit and you want to make it seem like it's somebody else's fault or something like that when it really is you who created this and now we're just here to emotionally help you clean that shit up okay that's that's just what we do we're we are literally the shamans of the healer put some respect on our name put some respect on a scorpio's name period okay and i can't speak for every scorpio out there obviously you can't speak for everyone at all for anything but put some respect on our name we're here to help we're not here to fuck shit up we're here to help, okay? And it's also how you utilize our energy is really up to you. So that's the reason why I feel like it's just, just turned into a rant. But I'm going to keep doing videos like this. I have a whole, I have advice for Scorpios and things like that. If you guys like this video, share it. If you are a Scorpio and you're underdeveloped and you're not helping somebody heal, you are on the wrong path and you are not fulfilling what you're supposed to be doing out here, okay? So you need to level up and address your own traumas and get through that 
So you could be out here helping people along in their, their transformation. Scorpio is the house of transformation. A transformation is not going to feel like fucking butterflies and fairy dust, okay? A transformation is painful, especially if you've just gathered all that pain for so long and you just let it pile up just like fucking, like I can't stand people who have plaque on their teeth or who have like white ass tongues like do you not brush your teeth like do you not floss how did you even how did you allow all that plaque to build up down there bro you haven't checked your teeth in a long time that's disgusting and so now you at mad at me because you haven't flossed because you haven't brushed your tongue because you haven't taken mouthwash you're mad at me though when i address it and be like bro you got halitosis like your traumas are stinking up the fucking room but you mad at me you're mad at me because i'm addressing your traumas you can't be it's okay though because my my scorpios know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying like how are you gonna be mad at me because you stink like that makes no sense i did not dictate when you brush your teeth and when you don't brush your teeth you're the one take care of yourself you cannot be sitting here mad at me yet you want to be a my friend you want to be my space you know what i'm saying and what i have is a lot like i give a lot okay and i need you to at least clean it up so that is my rant on why people hate Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. But y'all love us. Y'all love us because y'all want to be like us. Y'all wish you could be this deep. You wish you could be this passionate all the time. Just saying. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, okay? Ciao. Thank you. I have a tutorial. Check it out, girl.